here we have a 2313 X-Line Runner 2. We have an X-Line Runner 2 core, retainer dogs, core spring, spring retainer, core, core pin, the fish neck, the bottom mandrel or the top mandrel, split rings, dog spring, located dogs, dog retainer, and your lug segments. The well, first thing I do is I pick my lug segments and I catch a little grease. Now, you always wanna put, it's like a little house. You wanna put the top up. Notice I got the retainer dog windows at the top. Put it like top up. A little grease on there to hold them in place. Flip it over. Now I take my dog retainer, dog spring. Always check, make sure it's a good spring. People have problems with these crisscrossing a lot. Go into the side. Some of the other sides you have to go into the top. This particular side you go into the side. Got a little piece of metal, it's a little flat metal. You can take a hacksaw blade or whatever. Make sure the tail end of the spring doesn't end up in the window. You want it to end up there. Always compress your spring to the threads. You take your metal, you get it to stick. It's a trick sometimes. All right, so the metal pressure spring. Take a little grease, put it on the back of your uh, split ring. So you wanna put the big side down so the dog sit like that inside the cylinder. So you wanna put it big side towards the threads. On the side, press it against the wall hard so it sticks. A little grease on the back of the second one. Same thing. You want to try not to bang this around too much or your spring's going to come flying up in your face. Get you located dog. Slide it. Put it in the little, the little ears in the uh, split rings. Get your magnet to hold your located dog. Second one. Do the same. Magnets to hold them in place. You gotta be gentle or it'll fly out. At you. you wanna take the look at the dogs and slide them opposite of your core pin window so that hangs up on you. Slide it down, pull your little metal out, check your spring. Make sure your spring don't twist and overlap. You wanna fix that before it gives you trouble. Slide it down slowly. Even with this shoulder. You don't want to pass that shoulder too much, you will lock up on you. You want to keep it easy on the side so your lug segments don't fall out in the middle. Stamp on the front, push it up against, make this as even, pull it back a little bit, a quarter of an inch or so, give you some room. Get your spring retainer, put a little grease inside it. Grease up your mandrel. Core springs. Little grease on your threads. Fish neck. Like you remove your magnets. Just tighten everything up. Just tighten the bias. So you say you tighten up your, so your windows are flush. You don't want to put your finger in it. Or you tighten it. Take your core pin. Make sure your core pin goes across freely. 
take it in your vise. And your dog retainer. Gently. You don't want to clamp too tight. Then it won't allow your manager to go back and forth. Chain wrench. Tighten up your spring retainer. I want to snug it up a little bit for that. I want to it kind of loose in the vise. Take a little rod. Pull it back. Make sure your locator dogs are in. You can release it. Pull it back. You should bite and let go. Take your retainer dogs. Mm -hmm. Dip them in a little grease on the back side of them to where they stick. Put them in the window. There's a little profile in there. This back side has to go in. You put it in there, you'll feel it. It won't go back and forth. You got it in the right spot. And you take your core. You put a little grease up and down on your core. Take your core. Slide your core in. You wanna watch right here, so if you drop a lug segment, it falls out in the center, it'll push it through right here. You wanna watch out for that. Take your core pin, slide your core pin across. Get your roll pin, 316 roll pin. Let your core go back and forth freely. Put your core all the way forward. Release your tool, you close, everything should be locked up. Pull it back, you should locate the core straight back and forth. Release the tool. The little, your core shouldn't fall up in there. The core should stay locked. Listen up. That's it, 2T13X line running tool. Now we was to further test it, we pin it on a lock, run it through a nipple, Function tested, that's the video how to assemble it.